What's going on everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. We're to do Quan again. Apparently my last video got cut off mid midway through. I did not know that. It still uploaded it. So hopefully this one's going to be much better. Pretty much in the last video I was talking about there is a small small chance that we could be seeing $100 Quan if a couple things fall in line. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on Quan. Okay, everybody, let's get into Quant. I actually went over Quant pretty in depth in my live stream. So if you watch this TA and you want a little bit more beef or a little bit more me or see what I said during the live stream, just go to my live stream that I had today. I think it was towards the middle of my live stream. I did Quant and I went uh, pretty in depth on it. So right now for Quant, we're holding up at the 382. You can see this downtrend is what's holding or holding us down. We tested it once, twice, three, four times. And this is where our $100 possibility comes in. We have been making lower lows every time we've touched this line. So you can see we touched the line right here. We made a low right here. We touched the high or pretty much just the high there, made a lower low there touch the high there, we went all the way down to here. So if that plays out the same, we would inevitably have to come back down here to $100 to put in a lower low. Now, eventually patterns do break. So could this break? It is very, very possible, but I'm not bullish on quant yet until we break out of this downtrend that we've been in since January uh, 25th when we reached you know $158. So short term right now, this 382 is gonna be pretty much our storyteller. Uh, it's going to tell the story. If we break below it, which we are currently below it, if we maintain below it, uh, you can see the main price volume actually drops off dramatically right here. It just drops right off. And if you look in the past, every time we've entered this general area, we've had very, very quick movements to the upside, very, very quick movements to the downside. So you can see downside, upside, very, very fast movement. So if we start getting some bearish movement through this negative price volume space, the next stop for quant could possibly bring us down to around that 113 range. And we could see another test up like this and then go down to $100. Now, if we start gaining a lot of bearish momentum here, say BTC retests 25,000 or 23,000, and this falls into this negative price gap, that momentum could break right through this 382 and send us right to 100. I don't think quant will ever fall below $100 again unless BTC absolutely goes down to like 10,000. Even then I'm still hesitant on calling below $100 quant. Quant is an absolute animal, this bear market. If you didn't buy in right here, then that was the optimal time in Ju June, I believe. And then ever since then, after that June, we shot straight up. So if you would've bought in June and held to this high here, that's 469% gain on your coin pretty much a straight up with a slight pullback right here. And then we've just been consolidating ever since between the 100. I mean, I could actually extend this downtrend a little bit further and look at it, it actually plays in perfectly. So what I'm seeing here is if we do this triangle, we could just be seeing some consolidation like this until we break through the upside. So quant, in my personal opinion, the short term, short term, because we are looking at the four hour chart, let me zoom back in here, indicators, oh shoot indicators are showing on the four hour um some slight bullish movement so we are bearish but we work we're losing our bearish momentum on this chart you can see the rsi is pretty low wtx is also low so in the short term short term i'm going to be expecting a pullback most likely to this main price volume area at around 125 because you can see in the short term we are in this downtrend right here as well and that downtrend main price volume convergence brings us up to this 125 and then that could be that catalyst that pushes us down to that 382 where um i don't know where my fib went we'll redraw it yeah that could be the catalyst that pushes us down to the 236 and starts the ball rolling on the negative price volume so that's kind of what i'm expecting for quant is main price volume test 126 125 and then head down to around 113 and if we start gaining some momentum here and it starts dropping fast, we could break right through that 0.5 and head to 100. So short term, bullish up to 125. Once we hit 125, I'm gonna expect a 9% drop on quant. Down to around that 115, between 115 and $110 range um, towards the end of March, beginning of April. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or Twitter. The links are below in the description.